Hey, what's going on everybody? Luke here with Stone Cold Countertops. I'm one of the editors here. And today, I'm gonna show you how I made this bad boy. I haven't worked with epoxy before. It was actually my first run, so you're gonna learn with me. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. You got this! Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. All right, everybody, first step, we gotta prep our board. We're using half inch MDF. We're gonna do two coats of paint and primer in one. Make sure to sand between coats with 220, then let that dry and we can apply the epoxy. Time to add some undertones. I'm gonna use some white spray paint, fog those edges. Then I'm gonna take a real teal metallic mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol, and I'm gonna spray some of that in the middle of the board. Remember, our normal Stone Cold countertop epoxy is a one-to-one -one ratio, three ounces per square foot. Go ahead and mix that for about two minutes, and then add your color additive. Hey there, if you like these colors, make sure to check out stonecocountertops.com and see what other colors we have. We have some new additives and also, big news, we now carry Rust-Oleum spray paint. So make sure to go check it out. All right, back to the video. Today I'm using our dark red metallic, our blue earth metallic, and then some black base tint. Then the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and spread the rest of our clear epoxy across the board using our square notch trowel. All I'm trying to do is get an even coat across the whole thing, then go ahead and use my hands, make sure my edges are good, and then we can add our colors. I'll be honest, I didn't put too much forethought into what I was gonna make. I was just kinda excited to play with this stuff for the first time. So I just let my hands do the work for me. I started with the black base tint, then followed with the dark red metallic and blue earth metallic on the sides, giving myself a cool little design and something fun to play with. I'll add some white metallic spray paint to the center of my piece to give myself a cool contrasting look. And then I'm gonna take a piece of paper and do a swipe method. I super stole this idea from ATD, shout out to them. Let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Next step, I'll grab our heat gun and move some of those colors around. I love how this is turning out so far. This is awesome. All right, almost done. Time to add some final touches. I'm gonna spray some clear 91% isopropyl alcohol over the board, add some cool selling effects. A little goes a long way. Torch out those bubbles and our color coat is just about done. Let me know in the comments below what other cool techniques have you guys experimented with. I think the swiping method in this case was the right move. It really tied everything together and I loved how it turned out. All right, color coat's all done. Today, we're gonna do a clear coat. So, let's clear coat this bad boy. Stone coat. Remember, three ounces per square foot, one to one ratio, mix for two minutes and hold that bucket. Almost forgot, I gotta sand first, 220. Just lightly scuff it up. It doesn't take much, just lightly sand with 220 so we can get a good mechanical bond. Trowel, brush. Make note to pour your epoxy in the center of the piece. This will help you not waste as much. Make sure to pull any loose bristles out your brush and then prime it before chopping. Chop randomly. This is gonna help hide those trowel lines. Also, don't forget those edges. All right guys, home stretch. Time to pop those bubbles. Pro tip, 
Make sure to torch in a sweeping motion. This will get all those bubbles out and ensure your project turns out smooth as glass. This stuff is actually as easy as it looks. It's the first time I've done it and I think I figured it out, you know? All I did was watch a couple of videos, so that just goes to show you got this. So the clear coat's done. I'm gonna just torch it about one, two more times, get the rest of those bubbles out, and then we're good to go. And I'm gonna send it to my mom for her birthday. Just really late birthday present, but it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> You know, I've never had a reason to have a cheese board at my house, but for some reason, I think I need one now. Or a serving tray. Look at this. It's with our new dies. You can find these, bow, at stonecoatcountertops.com. So make sure, hit that link. You can make cool stuff like this. Do it. That one, right there. You got this. You got this.